Welcome to another session of Clarity and Direction. Sam has been working in an IT giant for 12 years, a very senior lead. But right now, quite confused because he has introduced a lot of changes in his life, both personally and professionally. And despite these changes, he's finding no breakthrough in it. In fact, the next change he has planned is just in three weeks from now. Now, you must be wondering what changes is Samuel trying to bring in and why is he not really been able to achieve any of it? Let's look at the changes. Just three months ago, Samuel has applied for an internal transfer to a job posting that came in in his same organization. But this was with no due planning or a thought. He's also doing a course on applied research. He's recently purchased a software and he's learning a bit new basics about it. He's going to appear for three major IT exams scheduled in the coming months. He's attended several interviews and exploring new job options alongside actively pursuing new projects at his workspace. And in addition to all of this, he's also very active in the extracurricular activities he had, he had at his office. So when me and Sam, Samuel started the whole coaching assignment, his only thing was to help him be more organized, plan things out so that he could achieve all of it that he was doing all in one go. But what really caught my attention was when Samuel narrated his story to me. And that gave me a new insult. So I asked Samuel that will get to what you're asking me. But before that, I want you to do two things. One, slow down a bit. And two, I'll give you something as a tool which was a journal prompt for you to self-reflect. Self-reflection can be done in many ways but one of the best ways that you could do is through a journal prompt. So specific to Sam's case and the narration that he shared with me, I gave Samuel uh, this journal prompts and what you see on the screen is being shared with you with all due permission from the client so none of it is falling under the purview of confidentiality clause that I usually have with my clients. So this is what I specifically gave to Samuel. And this is an exercise, a tool that I personally use. It's not very specific, but as a coach to every client that I speak to, the narrations they share, the stories they tell me and alongside the goals they have, they would like to achieve through coaching. I accordingly design these questions. So in case of Samuel, one thing that really caught my attention was his constant need to achieve things in a haste. Uh, the way he went on explaining everything, which was all fine, but there was something in him where he was like, as if he, will, he wanted to achieve things very quickly. And that is precisely the reason why, if you look, look at the third question, uh, what's beneath the haste is what specifically I asked him. But this may not be a question that every other client may get, but in case of Samuel, uh, of the story he narrated to me, so I, so I asked him this and I gave him a week's time to sit back think through and come back to me with his response to all the questions that I've shared with him. This is on his response. This was a rough work both me and uh, Samuel did together in our assignment. And what really came out was very, very interesting. This was actually also a Eureka moment for Samuel because when he answered this question was what was beneath the, the haste the hurry that he was in, he took me back to those 20 years when he started his career at the age of 21. He was now 41 
and and upon asking more and more questions both about his professional and personal life one thing we both found was that he had missed out on certain milestone years of his life now these were not milestones set by anyone but by sam samuel himself and this was about that there was a there was a age by which he wanted to settle down which he couldn't there was an x amount of money that he wanted as a saving which he was not able to there was a, a an asset that he always wanted to purchase by a certain year want himself to be an established person by a certain year wanted uh, some of uh, the plannings he had for his parents which he unfortunately couldn't do because he lost one of them so th the story was more of the various standards stories that samuel told his own self the the milestones the years he himself set casted in stone um it was not from any textbook or any theory or any concept it was just built by him and now at age 41 he found that he missed out on almost most of it uh, even though he appeared to be a senior lead with a lot of money and a good career progression and all that and while we were doing this particular discussion and and i was asking him questions and answers the eureka moment came in when i asked him about these milestone things that the years he wasted or he thought he couldn't really achieve which were again uh, stemming in from comparing his own self his life to that of his cousins and the people who had some kind of influence on him and also his colleagues and somehow he felt that he was just lagging behind and that's where he stopped and realized now he knew why was he in such a hurry do you see the the power of a simple question which took him 20 years back and when we went to the deeper uh, level a deep dive sessions with it it brought to the surface of the very reason he today stand as an impulsive individual trying to do almost everything whether it made sense or not it was relevant or not uh, because somehow subconsciously he was trying to somehow pace his um speed to maybe his colleagues or or the people he was constantly comparing himself with and was trying to seek the quickest and shortest route to success well there were many more interesting conversation myself and samuel had uh, which are not part of this particular video but what i would like to bring your attention to is can you can you see it that we started an assignment with something so simple as he just wanted to be organized set some goals and achieve them with help of a coach but one simple question in the journal prompt brought samuel to connect with his inner self to realize a blind spot of how he was coming across to people which he himself was not aware of and also to understand what was really at play underneath it was indeed a very strong emotion and uh, a situation in our uh, coaching assignment while we were both discussing it i gave samuel the time he required to let the reality dawn on him soak it in completely sink into it and then we moved ahead so one of the very interesting tools that i typically use with cases like this where on the surface of it it might just look like 
the case is very simple. All the person need is some time management techniques, some organization here and there, and a way to achieve the goals. But friends, if you, if to getting to the root of it, the deep dive is where all the answers lie. So the case of Samuel, it, it began with a journal prompt, some set of questions. I'm, I'm going to share some of it in the video description. You can also use that for yourself. Self-reflection, something which we often overlook. And response discussions were answers to the narration that he was giving me. As a coach, having that expertise and eye for reaming it between the lines, answering which was not very obvious and apparent. And then I help Samuel connect the dots. Connect the dots of the past 20 years, the milestones missed, the constant comparison, the constantly trying to feel that he was lagging behind, having a kind of sense of shame, all of these emotions deeply buried inside him. And they were actually at play while Consciously, he never understood it, but subconsciously, he was driven by it. Eventually, and at the final stage, I, I assisted Samuel create a larger picture with a non-judgmental way to understand all that has happened, how much was it that was in his control, whether or not can he change the wheels of time, which is obviously no. And so far that he has come on his unique journey, the wise lessons he has learned and what best can he do from those lessons rather than chasing shortcuts to find quick success. So these are very typical tools that as a coach we use specific to cases which might look so, so deceptive. I mean, on the surface, it, it might just look like any, just any other case but deep dive helps us and the client take a completely different view and that's where the transformation happens after this me and samuel we worked for two months and finally samuel was actually able to begin his new journey for the first time in his life he created goals with not just the time uh, time period by when he's supposed to finish them, but actually with an intention, with a purpose, and being very clear on why exactly is he pursuing them. So this was the beginning of Samuel's transformative life. If you would also like to get to the root of issues, something that's keeping you occupied, something that you don't really know how to, what's really behind this. You want to take a deep dive, get at the root of what is it at play. I invite you to apply and enroll with me. You will find the descriptions in the, in the comment box. And I look forward to meet you and work with you to transform your life just as Samuel did. Thank you.